For Pinot Noir lovers, French Burgundy is the pinnacle of perfection. But the best Burgundy often commands top dollar. The key to finding affordable wines in popular regions like this is to look off the beaten path. After all, Burgundy is about 70,000 acres in size and has over 25,000 classified vineyards. There just has to be some hidden gems in a landscape of that size. Burgundy is located in eastern France and it runs north to south along the Saône River. The region is structured around over 40 small villages that follow the contour of the river valley. Each one of these charming little villages has vineyards sprawling out all around it, and the wines that they make there are named after them. Savigny Le Boon is one such village. It's actually just called Savigny, but in French, Le Boon means near a boon. So they're kind of actually using the fame of the larger city to steal a little bit of the thunder, which is very common in France. So this region of Burgundy is actually better known for its whites made from Chardonnay. Generally speaking, wine lovers and connoisseurs are not looking for reds here, but that's to our advantage. While all of the wine connoisseurs are busy chasing after the big name Burgundies, that means you and I can have all the Savigny Le Boon that we want. You're probably familiar with the French term terroir, which is a word that describes everything that happens in a vineyard, from the soil to the sun exposure, that eventually affects the flavor of a wine. And the French believe that you can taste the difference between every piece of land and, in this case, village. Savigny Le Boon reds are slinky and lush. Pinot Noir is almost always light, tart, and fresh, with tons of cherry, strawberry, and raspberry fruit flavors. And as Burgundy Pinot ages, you get these beautiful sensations of earth and sometimes even mushrooms. And the beauty of Burgundy Pinot is that you don't have to wait to drink it. You can actually enjoy it while it's still young. They can also age for a very long time, up to 20 years or more, so they're very popular with collectors. A younger Savigny Le Boon, like this one here, will cost you around $35, and a slightly older Premier Cru, maybe $40 to $50. So, for a real boon to your wine experience, I highly recommend Savigny Le Boon. For more tips like these, and to come join me on the wine trail less traveled, subscribe to the WTSO YouTube channel, and I'll see you at the next video. Cheers, everybody.